everybody. Um, I happened to be in a building that was a few stories high the other day, and it was in Reading, and so I took some pictures out of the window. Um, this nice old building was out the front, so I'm going to zoom in. But Mickey's with me, aren't you, Mickey? Still? Yes, yeah, still. Thank he's here. Are. Yes, he's gone all. He's gone all camera shot. You know, like recorder shy but um and he's got floss who's in love with him going just give me more yes. just give me more i want more love more belly rubs yeah she's kind of lying on her back mickey's <laughs> rubbing her stomach <laughs> anyway we're going to zoom in on this picture just a it tiny bit just. because you know when we look at think of europe think of the flanders yeah. when i went to when i went to um bruges oh, and they bruges. like it in belgium they like it in the sausage place we're going to zoom in a little bit. Yes, there's some quite nice chimneys on that building with some quite nice little brickwork sticking up. Don't you think, Mickey? Yeah. A bit like First that down I've at Shaw House, it. isn't it? Yeah. Was that writing on there? Were there arches? Yeah, it's just brickwork. Mm. There must have been one here. Look, but that one's different. It's a leg for the chimneys. Yeah, they're very long, aren't they? Yeah. And all those shops underneath that are probably totally unaware <coughs> of what's above them. Oh yeah, this is the front and the front of it. You can see down here the front is just... Yeah. Yeah, anyway, we're going to move on now. Yeah, thank you, Mickey. It always amazes me when we look at things. I mean, that building there might be or houses or whatever they are, but with the old. And that's why a lot of people don't spot the old, I don't think, because it's always... But up here there's some old buildings which they haven't noticed. They don't look up. It's got one of those there as well, so that's the centrepiece. Maybe there was a clock in there to start with. Could have, yeah, could well have been. Because mm. I don't really view Reading as a new place. To me it's a, sorry, an old place. It's got old things in it, but it's got a lot of new stuff in it. So I don't think of Reading as old, but it has some old stuff in it. So anyway, let's yeah. go on to the next picture. When my, cursor, when my cursor works, where is it? It's playing up right now. Whoops, there it is. Come on. Trading in. We're just zooming in on this one. It's a bit of a shame, really. You've got this nice old church with all that like yeah, pattern on it, and in front so... of it is this horrible tower with one of them on it. <coughs> but that's why I took that uh, just in the, you know. Tower behind as well. Yeah, and you know, always, you know, look, look, that goes up. It's like they're in a. A bowl. I think London's like that. Whenever I look round, when I've been up high and I've looked round, it looks the same with London. Maybe lots of the towns are in dips. Could be in a valley. Yeah, <laughs> but it's pretty hot all over there. But anyway, yeah, next on to the next bit, yeah. Yeah, so the, that church is over here. And then I panned round a bit and there was these two steeples there. It's just that that's something that Sven notices, how many steeples there are. When you look out, yeah. And you can see in here, especially I think that bit there, which isn't so visible, but I remember when I saw it. And that, this is older like parts George, of Reading, getting, yeah, yeah. In there's the newer Mud bit. Flood, as I'd say. But that's, they'll be quite old. Yeah. yeah, in that way, yeah, even this one here. It's just amazing what you see towers. when you're not on the ground floor. Mm. I miss a lot. I know it's very hard oh. why you think maybe that I took this picture. Like, to anybody looking, it just looks like I've taken. No, they, yeah. they actually look quite. Whatever this is here, that looks quite old, but it was actually that nice old mm. steeple there. But look how out of place it is. Look at that. See this here? Well, that might be Reading. I'm not sure if. I don't know if this is in front of the Reading. Yeah, so we're not that far from Reading Station. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, it was just this view out of the window. Mm. There's got a few spires here, isn't it? At the back, in the red, in the grey here. Yeah, and these horrible Very buildings strange. in the background, but there was this nice old steeple yeah, here. That must be the old part. Yeah. Hey, look, I've got a pen in my hand and the pen's in the way, sorry about that. But I quite liked that building when I saw it, because, yeah. you know, I've never really gone and done much walking around Reading, and I quite like that building. Should we zoom in a little bit, just so we can see? Not even have a spiral staircase. Let's just see. It's quite nicely. Look at that, that writing all over it. I quite like that. Yeah, it's saying something there, isn't it? Placed over. I don't really know how old that is. Grace and flavour. <laughs> Do you reckon that's that old Mickey? Look, Mr. Bean's Bar. <laughs> great, classic. <laughs> but I just thought that was quite nicely decorated. Yeah, it is, it is. Oh, look, what was up there? Oh, it's a chimney. Wow. <clears throat> 
When you see the size of the chimneys on the other that's building, right. that's quite small considering. Anyway, I can't see what that says now, but it has a, has a spire for the roof. Yeah, it's yeah. probably a really I nice. Think there's a spiral staircase. Now. Look at that doorway, nice. Go a bit deeper there, I'd say. Yeah. I don't know. That's like a bell tower, isn't it? That yeah, one. It's not. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> On its own. I mean, you know how we've seen cheap church steeples. This one doesn't have a steeple, but it has that. Mm. Yeah, it could be I reckon the bells would have been in there going ding, 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 ding out the I'd, side. But I'd that's say, I'd say so because you've got the holes there, isn't it? When you see the light coming through, three of them. Yeah, we're gonna we're looking at it a bit <coughs> more detail now. Hang on. There you go. These slim bell towers. Yeah. Do you don't often see them looking like that, no, do you? On side. Kind of looks more Roman to me, somehow. Sounds like it's really putting the sound out. I don't know, yeah, maybe. Who knows? But anyway, those ones are outside. And I thought that was design, it's a little bit different, that. Don't design into nothing like that. This is in Reading. Resonating the sound, isn't it? More yeah, I didn't, I didn't take note of what church it was, though, at the time, but that's in mm. Reading. Cool. Yeah, I like, I like this one, but it looks quite empty to me. And I just liked some of the. I'm in because I looked at it zoomed in. It looked a bit weird, really. But I liked these little details it had on it. There's quite a lot of detail on that that you just walk past and don't even probably notice it is. That's three houses, really, isn't it? Three flats uh, up there. Well, I'd say one, one, one and a half. Or two. Different people. Yeah, maybe. Might want to be blown out or something, but yeah. Stuck in between that and stuck in between this other horrible, nasty mm. building over there. But uh, I just like the fit, some of the features on there. I don't think it's quite as old as the other one. Yeah. Yeah, I took two pictures of this because obviously these are mud flooders and this is in Reading. But I, I do still have a, an opinion of how I think this happened. I think when you look at things, England is lots of little hills, little hills, little hills. And then they just put a road through the middle of it all, and then some yeah. of it was below and some of it was above. So maybe these were on a little hill and they were a little bit below, and now they're mud flooders. You can see this down there. Now the stairs goes up to the next floor. So this, obviously, yeah, it should be another film. But there was something else I noticed. So we've gone to the next picture. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> there was one on the other side as well. So there was two of those. So they're windows they've covered in, but they're such weird windows. And the, if you go back to here, the roof kind of oh, gone too far. Yeah, Do you see, there's, uh, yeah. there's a very big room up there, is it? It must have been attic rooms. And it went along, and there was one over here. Hey, if that last picture we used close up to like a, like a maybe would have been like a post or. Oh, you mean that wasn't a window at all? No. They just put a post like, yeah, what, like on both sides of the building? Like a sign. Like no, it's not very big Georgia up there science. though. It's tiny. <coughs> You'd yeah, never notice it up there. But it just seems like something was there. Hmm. No, I think it, it was, was some kind of window. I know what you mean, but there's no, there's no lentils or anything. Oh, okay, yeah, it's but got no it, frame. But, yeah, you're right about then, you know, they just, There it is. They could have blocked it up, you know. Oh, you mean there was a plaque there on there and they've taken them well, off? Because yeah. maybe it said 1695 well, or something on But don't forget, because you've got a flat roof, you're going to have to have the water running off. So the, roof, the water will run, run along, even through these. I'm thinking these holes are, you know, rain through. Yeah, you know, the really sad thing is this building Same survived. <coughs> this building Italy. survived and it's quite old, but they stuck it next to that one and that one. It's so sad when. Some of the oh, old, yeah, yeah. you know, that's old a lovely me. old, I'd rather live in there than that. Yeah, well, the rooms would be bigger, you won't hear your neighbour, you know, <clears throat> that's mm, the idea. Three storeys, one, two, three, four, four storeys. Yeah, Jesus. And you can see, look, they're making the room smaller because, oh, I suppose there's half there, but it, this is still nearly the same size as that, and there's one, two, yeah. three, oh, I suppose there's three and a half high, floors, and there's one, two, three, four there. Yeah. It's like sort of planning thing they do that for, isn't it? Yeah. How does that it's work? Because it's flat behind there, but look, it goes down <clears> there. <throat> wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it's obviously like a good drop. Isn't that <laughs> amazing? It goes down there, but not there. There's a window right here. Look, nice. Oh, that's, that's or a door yeah. or something. Well, I'd say we window. Yeah, we'll on to the next. Should we on to the next one? Big drop. Yeah. I know this dog. He's right, sweetie. He's actually quite big. His paws are like the size of my hands. You know, not far off the size of my hands. And he's a little bit 
you know, he might bash into you because he's only about one years old. He's quite a sweetie and he gives me cuddles. Get like by the time he puts his paws on my shoulder, he's as he's as tall as me. Um, but I was looking at him and I just thought, oh, wow, maybe he looks a bit Egyptian, but it's not, is it? I've I've brought up the dog. So this is the dog that's supposed to be in those Egyptian pictures. There it is, the Egyptian dog breed. And these dogs don't have any fur and they're really expensive. I mean, look at him. Egyptian. So, Mickey, do you, do you think that this dog is this dog? Oh, yeah, it could be taken off, <coughs> you know, the history of dog. First dog ever dog, you know. They're quite expensive, though, those well, dogs. Best friend. Do you think that's, that's, that's that dog? It's, uh... From the from yeah, the Egyptian. Yeah, it's, it's, Do you think that's the same dog? Yeah. If they say it is. He's quite a beast, it's isn't he? Right. Or I just hope that this is not Photoshop. You know, I, I, I didn't put another picture on because I wasn't sure about that one after all. But who knows? You send it from the wall. You sometimes wonder their Photoshop. But this is this dog. Look at them. They don't have any fur. So that little bit between its head. Mm. They don't have any fur. They, 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 I don't well, like. I don't sure if I like can... animals like that. There's another one. Look. So you think those are the things in the Egyptian? Because it, it just made me think of the Dobinum. And But then when I looked up to see if there was an Egyptian dog, then this is it. Mm. Oof, my Dobinum, wouldn't it? Man, it made me. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's like dogs are made, aren't they? And you think that's the dog in the, in the Egyptian Correct. pictures? Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. They're usually dark, aren't they? But anyway. What, oh yeah, I took a picture on the train coming back and to be honest there was dirt on the window but the rays were coming straight down again like it's there. Wherever there is, it's coming through for me there. Yeah, let's move on. On the same picture, what's this one? Yeah, I thought that was quite a nice picture even though they can see on the window just here but look at that. It's there, isn't it? It's not over here or over no. there, it's there. And I did like that one. Mm, that looks like I've done some art or something. <laughs> yeah. It was so difficult because I don't want to pick up the stuff on the window and, you know, the train is moving. Um, I just thought that was quite a nice picture, it is, that one. It is. Yeah. It mm, be, thank you. should be gold in my like gold. Well, that's through the clouds. Yeah. Oh, let's just, wait, wait, let's just listen to this bit. To be honest, I filmed this because I was trying to watch the sun a little bit, but with the window and now the quality when you put it onto Facebook, but hopefully you can see it's a little journey that I had back on the train the other day. Western Railway service to Newbury. The next station is Thatcham. I'd add a bit about pepper um, you know in the end we have all this prepared food I call it slop in a pot you know every now and again a bit of pasta or you know cauliflower cheese they're okay but they're slop in a pot co-op's one of the worst ones for that one but um, pepper I actually really like pepper 
It's a fruit, would you believe? Who would put pepper into being a fruit? But it's actually really good for you. It helps against many ailments, and one of them protects you against cancer. So it's an antiox antioxidant, isn't it? Yeah, and I just thought that was quite incredible because salt, they've told everybody salt's bad, but mm, sea salt and that is not bad for you. You just don't want to have spoons and spoons quantities. and spoons of it. But, you know, it's good for you in your diet and so is pepper. Like, I love pepper. Maybe this is why I like it. I don't know. I have to have pepper on almost anything. I'm not a tomato sauce person. I like pepper. <coughs> I like salt on chips. More I like salt on a certain few things, but pepper find out that it's a really good spice it says at the end it's the king of all spices because it's so peppery um, but it's a fruit <laughs> I never would have put it in as a fruit that's amazing but there you go see stimulate hair growth so I was like wow I'm, I'm gonna add this in oh this is quite um so 1693 to 1710 comes the pepper war and in this we will read that they say that pepper cost more than gold how can that be in this world where gold is everything oh lo and behold when all this happened pepper was worth more than gold so that's i thought that was quite um incredible really but they saw pepper as a really good spice it was really good for you and it's just such a shame you know when you know now we're here that a lot of people have no idea that just by adding a little bit of this and a little bit of that you just don't realize how good things would be mm. but we're into those in every you know I'm, I'm not saying i don't go to the plastic supermarket we do as well you know suddenly if they're reducing something to 50p or something you buy it but just remember things like pepper and salt and other things, you know, not just the vegetables, but vegetables, the fruit, especially fruit, really good for you. Yeah, it is. But anyway, we just wanted to put this bit in about salt, even the Romans, the whole lot. So, you know, it's not something they only knew a hundred years ago or something. It's something they've known then for hundreds of years. Here it is. Did, there you go. Did, did um, pepper cost in the medieval times and then they are the king of spices oh there's a couple of pictures here that's mm. that's quite incredible isn't it all those buildings under Hobbit. what's happened there then Hobbit. were they built Hobbit. like that Hobbit City. and who is she falling in love with the devil <coughs> hey yeah with a big what's that what's he holding oh, <laughs> a big one of them oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so i was being a bit rude there but um yeah, and that one, that one's just like, wow, again. It's almost as if some explosion or this really big occurrence has happened on the roof here to cause this pattern. Yeah, it's a uh, like blood red, isn't it? It's, it's the whole thing, iron, like, even putting the buildings, that's a good place to <coughs> put a building, some rooms in. The red's probably oxidisation, the metals. Oh, yeah, because it was another building, wasn't it? keep forgetting oh, that yeah it's, it's, copper, it? it's been uh, whatever it is i put it on um i'm going to show you this one but anyway look at this all different sizes yeah. so you don't think these are that old then when when you see this you know oh jesus i didn't see that before that's a bit big yeah so forgot to put this bit in so adding it in so you know then we've got this building here you know it's almost as if somebody did something okay i've put a plasma rifle but it's had some effect to it like is this some cold fusion weapon or something that's done this whatever's happened that building could be really really old or it could be the same age as that one next to it but because it's happened to this building you kind of can't tell what age it is but it looks quite old and now because it's got rock on it or light rock it looks like it's part of the hill but if that's got rock, what's the hill? The hill is obviously a building then, because it sort of crept onto this one. But it is amazing that it's got caves. It does really look like there was some kind of dome up here. You know, in some of the pictures, this gets quite detailed. But anyway, when you see the inside of this, sometimes these buildings inside, they do half remind me of the aquarium in Brighton with these pillars 
No, Mickey's going to say something now, aren't you, Mickey? No. Yes, you are. <laughs> He's been waiting. No, I haven't been waiting for nothing. I'm just trying to... It's like, gone, then. You know, it's not... Don't think it's all carved out in one go. Yeah? Because you, you can see the layers here. This is like... Like, well, uh, where? There. It's like, remember, they yeah. can't see, so it's here. Where it's joined. It's all joined together. So you put that in afterwards then? Out. Yeah, it's like man made. Right? You don't think this is some kind of mine or something? No, no. I think. Because it's yeah. almost like it was the ceiling, a castle. The ceiling, yeah. It's like the joint. It's like, like it's a conglomerate, like, yeah. man made, poured. Then it's like, this is like the render. The render's been taken off this wall because see the scratches. Like any plaster, we put a scratch in so the render can hold on tight. So it'll be but something's happened to this building, hasn't it? Yeah. We messed with. I mean, I don't even know really. You know, like we messed with. Yeah, like but yeah. When you, know, you it's, it's not. When you see that, like, what yeah. has happened? Been Why would you put? Say this was just rock. And they've burrowed into it and it's from the old times. Why would you put brick in there? <laughs> I don't know, it's just like, But then this bit up here looks so like what it is, isn't it, basically? You know, you disguise it when you put the bricks on it, you turn it into something else. You know, it takes away its true history. And that's what they always do. Then it'd be like a church, you know. Was it just but you can brick? See, but you I can mean, see, was it just rock? But Karen, you can see here where it looks like it's been poured even here, and the joints here. Yeah. Why would this happen? I know it looks like it's. Do you want the, Do you want the the hat? You know the it's thing because you got you got to tell me where I've got to look. So even put the zinc in an arch here. Yeah. yeah. Most like skeletons. But those bricks look quite <laughs> old, Mickey. Yeah, well, that's that's like. Look at these. You know, George, you know how old bricks are. You know. Horses like and I carts, say, and we can a, do this. It's just like covering up, you know, making it nice. You know, the old Georgians. I've sometimes cool. wondered when this was happening, maybe, or when it's was this soft yeah. and they could do this, or. So here, see here, these joints. Is this a volcano that's come no, over? No, no. I'm trying to explain to you here. You see these gaps. You don't get gra gaps in rocks, so that means it's been put on top, yeah, layer after layer. That's why you get these cracks, these layers. Oh, it's come yeah. layers after see here, layer. Look, even here. Do you think this was the megaton gun? Do you think the megaton gun did this with heat? No, 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 no. I that's no that. You know, our melted reality says that all all stone, all this stuff, is melted brick. Is this melted brick? Has this been through such heat? It's melted the brick. This is the thing, isn't it? But it doesn't seem to me. Bit weird, this, isn't it? It's you know, glamour layered by layer. So layer. why would they pour that over that? Well, let's mend, well, let's mend the falling building. Let's pour loads of concrete over it. Oh, you no? Oh. You tell me. I mean, that's at an angle as well, isn't it? And I mean, that's at an angle there, really, isn't it? I don't know. It's a bit hard to... Anyway, we were just I'll stopping on this because it fitted into the other video. But is it the other one you want to talk about? The doorways? No, after this, I'll show you a bit more. So that's why we went to the other one. Is it a bit like this? Is it a bit like this one, somehow? Oh, uh, yeah, it could well be. You know, I'm getting a pour in there, but yeah, you're, yeah, you this know, is the isn't... temple of the yeah, moon. Yeah, picture, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty old temple, a uh, you know, magically made. But you know where we saw something like this in this kind of sort of thing was underground at 9/11. Under there, it was all like this under the ground. Mm -hmm. It's like that is severe heat. Mm. Or is it? Is it that it? Because you know, on that day, nothing really melted, did it? The paper was on mm. fire, but nothing was hot. So I, things can happen <clears throat> in different ways. It doesn't mean it's hot. It's still doing the same thing, but it's cold. Mm -hmm. So that could have happened that way. I know what you're saying, but what if it's... It's like, almost as if it had an outer bit that's yeah. broken and then you could see that bit, but it looks like it's something... I don't know anymore, because we don't know how long they've had the weapons or where they've come from. I mean, we now know, to me, Tartaria's, or what we call Tartaria, was this long period. It was different. It was... It probably had everything we had. Yeah. Didn't way of life, didn't it? It was just different. 
maybe they weren't quite as advanced, but what they had did the same thing. You know, even the other day when we watched on the train, do you remember? What was that in when we watched those? Well, maybe we should look at those. Actually, we're going to stop now. We've, we've said what we yeah. wanted to say about this place. Just do the rabbit hole.